good late 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 evening on this increasingly dark close to sunset in the greater bloomington area we have a subscriber request for uh dnt which is up here where are we at uh just seen you dnt and he said he wants to buy sell high and buy back low which i don't get why you guys just don't hold this shit and build a position right but whatever so let's see what we got here you know, on the long out range we got our legacy trend line right here <laughs> then we're going to zoom in a little bit closer to see what's going on we just broke out of uh Oh man, we just broke out of a consolidation and now we're trying to bully our way back up. But my first thing I notice here is the volume is crashing. It's bearish right off the bat, very bearish with crashing volume. Second thing I notice here is you got your moving averages about to come down sloping the 200 or the overhead 50 and then the overhead 200 in green so best case scenario i believe you're in this coin right now because you said you're trying to sell high and buy it back um what i'm seeing now is best case for you is you come up in between these moving averages and then you fight and try to trade up against this upper resistance at 30 cents we'll mark that for you up here we'll mark that up here best case is you come up here and ride along that right something like this let's get our little pattern little tools on here right be something like that you hit the overhead 50 come back get supported on the underneath 200 and then ride up along this right right up along that but with no volume you're going to eventually roll over on yourself right you're going to eventually come back down to retest this and then come back to test these lows right here right but that would be a sell zone along that upper resistance unless volume comes in which i do not see right and i think you're gonna eventually if we just extrapolate this out a little more sorry i'm doing this on the fly i think you're gonna eventually if you do run up this high you're gonna come back down and get rejected and then hit some overhead resistance and then come down here and then hit that and then come down to wherever your target is i have a target here somewhere yeah if you break if you break this uh upper legacy trend line like right now this is your best case scenario if you're trying to sell high it makes a run up at that upper resistance at about 28 cents 29 cents and rides it for a minute but if you come up and you get rejected by that overhead 200 in the daily time frame you're gonna come down back here real quick, right? And then you could be coming much, much lower. And if there was an ultimate buy zone in a bearish, bearish scenario, I would say, um, <clears throat> shit. I would say an ultimate bearish scenario You could come all the way down here. If you're trying to buy a low, thinking it's gonna, if it drops, it's gonna come back up. You already hit that. I mean, shit. Your next target would be all the way back here, right? Put, we'll put this down here. Clone. Fuck. Clone, bitch. Why aren't you cloning? You could have a big target down there. You almost got down there. That's one of my targets. So the yellow line is your best case scenario to sell high. Your worst case scenario is here. And this is option B, the bearish scenario, which the volume is saying bearish. 
is you start coming up, you get rejected by the overhead 200, then you come back down, then you come back up and get rejected by the overhead resistance at 21 cents, and then you trade back down to your target down there. That's option B. So you're in this coin right now, pay attention to, let's clone this again. Pay attention to this line right here. If you get rejected by the overhead 200 and you can't hold 21 cents, you're coming back down at least for a retest of your lows of 14 to 16 cents. Best case scenario is you break up and bully your way up and you can sell up here along upper resistance from about 28 cents up to 31, 32 cents, depending how long it rides it. XRP is similar. I've done extensive coverage on XRP today on what I think is going to go on for the next few weeks. But you ask for a quick update on here on a potential sell zone. And right now, that yellow line is kind of what I think you're going to do. I drew that out earlier for you. You got upper resistance at $1.25, but you're going to need some big volume to get up there because you got the overhead 50 coming down on you, right? This overhead 50 is going to keep trading down and this is going to trade up. That's why I think you're probably going to trade in here before you get rejected. And eventually, I think you're going to retest down at $0.40. Cents. Um, but that's what you got to look for. I think that's where you're going. I think XRP, you're going to trade sideways in that, in that way, right? I think you're going that way in XRP. And then you're going to get rejected and come down. Um, you got to see some volume coming with big green candles like that if you want to get bullish and break. I don't think you're breaking that line. I think you're going to keep trading up and sideways until you eventually come back down to our lower targets, which are down here, right? So pay attention. You might be able to bully your way up to the $1.10 mark, that blue upper resistance. Um, I, don't think, I don't think you're going to break that. I think you're just going to trade sideways and then eventually come back down in XRP. Thanks for the donation like subscribe and share peace and love peace and love